I think what the last episode showed us is that don't mess with the Mandalorian, okay? If he agrees to help you and to go on a mission with you, don't try to cross him. Just don't do it. Come on. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another reaction for the Mandalorian. Today we have season one, episode seven called The Reckoning. Ooh. Okay, okay. Now before we get started, remember, make sure to leave a like and subscribe i'd really appreciate that close to 800 subscribers so that'd be pretty cool if we can reach that so in the last episode episode six was probably the best episode that i've seen so far this season in that episode we got introduced to bill burr's character and uh, his entire heist crew full of just colorful personalities you know and they all try to cross mando actually everybody tried to cross mando even that guy he trusted in the beginning or i guess it i guess the bounty hunter rule is not to trust anybody you know it's a dirty world so, yeah, they tried to cross him, and they all paid the price for it. And we made another pit stop, and like I've been saying, this season so far, six episodes deep, has been kind of... It's been structured very interestingly. Not like weirdly. I wouldn't say weirdly. Just just interesting structure to the way they're telling the story so far. Because the first, like, three episodes, or maybe even the first, like... Yeah, yeah, the first, like, three episodes seemed like they were setting up, like, the main story, which was Baby Yoda and Somebody Wants Baby Yoda, and... Like, but we're going to say Baby Yoda, right? So we did in episode three. And then ever since that happened, we have just been going from planet to planet, location to location, every single episode, completing little mini missions and meeting new people along the way in the galaxy. My prediction is that maybe at the end of this season or maybe at the end of next season, we will see most of these characters that we have been meeting uh, on our pit stops come back to help us in some kind of a way i can definitely see that happening so yeah um let's just go ahead and jump into today's episode again make sure to leave a like and subscribe let's go you might be surprised to hear this but i am alive too i guess we can call it even i think he kept you alive on purpose Those despotic rule over my city which has impeded the livelihood of the guild Damn, that sucks. If you would consider one last commission, I will very much make it worth your while. Oh, shit, okay. Bring the child as bait. I will arrange an exchange and provide loyal guild members as protection. Oh, can we trust him? Can we trust him, though? Sounds too good to be true. It's also not going to be that easy. I await your arrival with optimism. Okay, okay, that's not a, like a bad deal, you know, but like, can we trust it? They want us to go back to the planet we were at where everybody was hunting us. But then also, you know, we can't just keep running all the time, you know? This seems like a way for us to stop running. The Reckoning. Oh, we're gonna pick up, uh, Cara Dune? Stop tugging on my wiener! Oh! Oh, she's not gonna choke you with it. If anybody runs my chain coat, I'll rot in a cell for the rest of my life. I thought you were a veteran. Come back soon. She's literally just chilling here, making money, just fighting people. Why would she come out of, you know, the I'm safe in. place that she's in? Oh! It's yeah. Because he's an Imperial leader, that's why. You're okay with bringing him back there. Not really. That's why I'm bringing you. Oh, you gotta keep the kid protected while I do the mission? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, he's so adorable. Oh, I see. Are you scared to go back? He's probably scared to go back. You got anyone you can trust? Oh, the old lady, the mechanic. Yep. Wait, is it the I have spoken guy? Hold up. It's all coming together now. All the characters whose lives we have uh, impacted over the last couple of episodes are now all coming back around to help us. This one, on the other hand, looks like she was farmed in the Sido Caves in Laura. What does that mean? Cara Dune. Is that a compliment? And I'm proud to say that I paid out my clan's debt, and now I serve no one. For some tea. Oh! Please lower your Did he re-engineer him? He will not harm you. That thing is programmed to kill the baby. Yeah, yeah he re-engineered him. Ooh, I don't know if I trust that though. Still, 
I didn't expect him to come back. The robot that is Taika Waititi's robot. It's going through like physical therapy. It's learning how to like walk and use its arms again. No, but it will protect. Oh, that's good. We need it to protect the baby. Ooh, will the robot give its life for the baby again? <gasps> that's interesting. Uh, I feel like it's going to be hard to protect the baby. Now, instead of wanting to kill it, it's going to want to protect it and give its life again, like the robot. I want to hire your services. I'm retired from service. I can pay you handsomely, Ognat. It is Quill. Oh, nice to meet you, Quill. To protect the little one. Peter Quill? Quill. Quill. It's Quill. It's not Quill. Why are you so distrustful of droids? That's what I want to know. to kill him. It was programmed to do so. I've seen otherwise. Is he talking about the whole, like, uh, Order 66 type of thing where the clones are, like, programmed? I heard about something like that. Like, I haven't, I haven't seen the Clone Wars. But I heard something like that. I, I don't know how far off I am about that, but, like, the, uh, uh, the, the clones, you know, all of them, they were programmed, right? And then Order 66 was called, and then they all kind of just started working for the bad guys. Like, is that something like that? So could that be the connection why he doesn't like droids uh, that get programmed by others? And we do it not for payment, but to protect the child from imperial slavery. None will be free until the old ways are gone. Who else? Who else are we going to go pick up? We got to go pick up somebody else. <gasps> Go pick up that, uh, you know, his future wife. That woman that was, like, so in love with him. Ah, uh, no. He can't. Because he was, he was just on that planet. He didn't get her. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 what you doing there? Friends were... This, this I've heard rumors of. The Force. When you work for the Empire? I bought my freedom through the skill of my hands and the labor of three of your human lifetimes. That's respectable. We got a lot of character information about that guy. He was there for a majority of the second episode, and we didn't know much about him. Here, like, not even halfway through this episode, we got a lot about his character. Like, we learned a lot about him. If a rebel dropper is with us, they'll all get their hackles up. She's coming. We do this mission together. I think he's good. He's good. He's not oh. stupid enough to try to do something. Show the client the bait. We join him at the table and you kill it. Tell me about his reinforcement. Oh, it's that simple? Just we walk in and start blasting? I don't think it's going to be that simple. Nothing can go wrong. Oh! <laughs> there could not have been worse timing for that to happen. One dispensable guy gone. Where's the next one? Oh no! No! Don't you dare take them! Yeah, we got ambushed. Oh, there's another dispensable guy gone. Oh, flamethrower is out. Let's go. The way this scene was filmed was like so intense for a second because the only lighting that is lighting up the scene is from the the flame, the blasters, uh, the blasters, and the. Uh, the flamethrower that comes out of his hand. That was kind of crazy. Isn't working. Oh. Oh, uh, healing he's abilities. He's trying to eat me. <laughs> Relax. Nice. Let's go. Oh, the poor thing's tired. It took a lot out of him. You thank him. Don't turn him over now. He saved your life. Oh. Ooh. Hold up. The plan was to kill you and take the kid. But after what happened last night, uh, I couldn't go through with it. Okay, yeah. So the original plan was to turn the kid over. Both need the client to be eliminated. Okay. Let me take the child to him. And mm, then you two know. That's just he's right. Yeah? I have a plan. Quill, ride back to the Razor Crest with the child and seal yourself in. When you're inside, 
Engage ground security protocols. Nothing on this planet will breach those doors. Oh shit, here we go. Our team is setting up a mission here. Let's go. <laughs> Look at all this fuss that we're doing for this baby. I like the quick editing on that. Oh, okay. They're going with the empty pod. Why don't you just put like a bomb in there, right? And then it opens them. Boom. I'll give you 20 credits for the helmet. <laughs> Out of chance. That's going on my wall. <laughs> 20 credits for the helmet. How much you how much is 20 credits? Uh, 20 bucks? Told me you give me 20 bucks for that helmet. Oh, he's back. Hey, haven't seen you in a while. Sorry, I've been off planet. The Empire improves every system it touches. The Empire is dead at this point, right? Like you're putting your faith into like a completely fallen fallen organization. He's asleep. We all will be quiet. <laughs> oh! Yes, of Gideon. I forgot he's in this show. Child. Yes, I have. Oh! Oh, he's dead. Oh! 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 Whoa! 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 Gus just did it. Gus just popped off. Damn! What? I fuck with that armor heavy, yo. We're pinned down. Go, 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 go. No. Oh shit, they're fast. A TIE fighter is here. That means the bad guys are out. Go, 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 go. No. Jeez. Dramatic entrance much? Come on. Yeah, you got that same Darth Vader armor what are you a Darth Vader fanboy it was good Gus you may think you have some idea of what you are in possession of but you do not in a few moments it will be mine I just don't want that to hurt Quill or the baby really come in Quill Quill come in No! No, man. Wow, I, I really, I genuinely thought he was gonna make it. That was an intense ending right there for, uh, for that episode. Um, uh, first of all, I would say that this episode definitely felt like it's setting up the final. Uh, there's a lot of setup, and we're about to head into Chapter 8, which is called Redemption. Uh, it's going to be the final of Season 1, so it definitely feels like this episode was setting that up with a very kind of emotional ending there, man. Like, Quill, Quill one of my favorites, and... Man, it looks like he's going to be the casualty on our team, which is like, which I really appreciate the show for doing that. I, As much as I love him, uh, and I think he's a great character, I want him to stay dead. I don't want to turn on episode 8 and then being like, oh, no, he's actually alive. It was just like an injury, you know what I mean? Because, and this kind of goes hand in hand in what I said in the last video in my chapter 6 uh, kind of review there at the end. I said, like, I, I don't know how I feel about the fact that, like, this episode, that episode was, like, showing him hunting the high screw that betrayed him down. And it was painting it in the way that, like, oh, my God, is he killing them? And then at the end, it was like, no, no, no. The Mandalorian was, like, really nice to them. And he, like, spared their lives. I was like, what? Well, how would it have felt or what would it be like if he actually killed them? Because he is a Mandalorian. He is a bounty hunter. This is a very grimy Star Wars world. And I still feel like they're still going very safely. But if they do fully commit to this squeal death right here and show like the disparity of it and the sadness of it and just how bad it is, like we lost a team member just now and he, he tried his best, you know? Oh, oh my God. And I'm, man, and I'm just thinking about like, I it just hit me that he actually didn't want to go on the mission. He told him like, I paid everything like I'm free on this planet and then he was like out of the kindness of my heart I'm basically gonna go, gonna go on this mission with you and he stepped out 
and not cost him his life potentially. Again, I don't want to turn on episode eight and it's like he's alive. I'm not going to like absolutely hate it because I like the character and if they keep him around, that's great. But I feel like there was such an impact there at the end of this episode that like, wow, like this uh, Gus Fring right here, uh, played by Gian, uh, Giancarlo Esposito. And now that he has entered the scene, like things are about to get bad and people are going to die. Like, and I think it really goes hand in hand with this grimy Star Wars world that this show has been setting up so far. I'm going to go right into episode uh, eight right now into chapter eight. Uh, but that's it for this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Check out some of my other videos and I'll see you guys in my chapter eight review. Peace.